was when uh, we went very far back. Dude, so that was cool. My is cool. Is it like a refresh for me as well? Because it's been a little while since I've played this. I know. Yeah, it's wheelchair Chloe. I'm glad we are, she has the same hair color as me. Or near enough the same hair color. Actually, even near enough the same hair style. Damn, dude. Can we stop? Just damn. Whoa, awesome picture. Chloe's high tech so lair. In her pirate gear. I should have. Chloe, you're back. I'm just. I'm just. I'm so glad Kate wasn't the first. All those binders are filled okay, with other Okay, this is this is getting into today's session. Victoria this whole three-hour session know. after work. No, no, okay, so that was when we found Rachel. See, this stuff's all fresh in my mind now. Because I only did it recently. Okay, this is the lighthouse bit. Will we, we get some control back over this situation? While Max is, like, out of it. Okay, okay, we're back in, in, back here. Max, Max, can you hear me? Please say something. Chloe, I, I must have passed out. Oh, thank God. Don't you ever do that again, okay? I swear. But that nightmare was so real. It was so horrible. So am I able to do like a super rewind back to before all this happened and be like, yay, everything's all good and happy in the world. I caused this. I caused all of this. I changed fate and destiny so much that I actually did alter the course of everything. And all I really created was just death and destruction. Am I getting a fucking bad ending right now? If you say so. Max. This is the only way. Right back to the very beginning. So it's a case of go back now and you could use that photo to change everything right back to when you took that picture. All that would take is for me to... To... Fuck that. No. No way. You are my number one priority. You are all that matters to me. There is seriously know. some sort of relationship over over beyond friendship Even with these two. I'm so selfish. Not like my mom. Look what she had to give up and live through. And she did. She deserves so much more than to be killed by a storm in a fucking diner. Even my my stepfather deserves her alive. There's so many more people in Arcadia Bay who should live. Way more than me. Don't say that. I won't trade you. You're not Damn straight. Me. You meant a shit out done. Maybe you've just been delaying my real destiny. Look at how many times I've almost died or actually died around you. Look at what's happened in Arcadia Bay ever since you first saved me. I know I've been selfish, but for once, I think I should accept my fate. Our fate, Chloe. Max, you finally came back to me this week, and you did nothing but show me your love and friendship. You made me smile and laugh like I haven't done in years. Wherever I end up after this, this is some deep shit family, right now. All those moments between us were real, and they'll always be ours. No matter what you choose, I know you'll make the right decision. Chloe, I can't make this choice. No, Max. 
You're the only one who can. Ah, uh, he's gonna put me. <laughs> I don't want this choice. It's like I've been working out this whole time trying to fucking save her. And now she's saying like, no, let me die and save everyone else. Uh, <laughs> you see, the douche me is just like, well, I haven't really formed any sort of a bond with Arcadia Bay. Whereas I actually like Chloe. I was like, come on. Not many game characters I like. <laughs> I like Chloe. She's fucking cool. Whereas in Arcadia Bay you have See Nathan turned out to be actually somewhat decent in the end, so did Victoria. But I already lost Kate. Uh, I don't know what to do. I don't uh, I really don't know what to do. I I uh, 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 uh. This is this uh. You see, my my mindset, okay, let me have my mindset. It is if I sacrifice Arcadia Bay, I get to save Chloe, the person that I've been trying to save throughout this entire game. That has been my main goal pretty much throughout this entire game, aside from finding Rachel as well. But and so by sacrificing Chloe. I've then failed. I got it's like being a fucking Terminator. I would fail my objective. But if I sacrifice her, the people I didn't get to save get to come back. Like fucking what Rachel, I guess, would be back. Um, Nathan, Kate. Victoria, that's like three right there. But then you still get Jefferson doing his thing. Uh. <laughs> I don't, I don't know what to choose. It's, I'm, I'm so conflicted. I'm so conflicted because I don't. I want to say, <laughs> I want to save Chloe. Okay. I want to. I want to save Chloe. So I'm. I'm, I'm going to. <sighs> I, I. I guess the only way I can make this choice is because there's so many things for and against. Is for me to go. Well. <sighs> After that, it's landed on me. <laughs> I'm hovering over S Sacrifice Arcadia Bay now. So. I, uh, uh, I, gu I guess I could press them both and see which one it chooses. That would be the fair way here. I guess. I, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. Uh. I press them both. I don't know what I choose. And my eyes closed. It's time. What do I choose? I didn't know what to choose. Not anymore. Oh. Okay. I got. I, I got the sacrifice Arcadia Bay one. Okay. So I. I save Chloe in the end. Max. Be with you. If she fucking jumps off. I will be so the salt. It will be real. I mean, it's still the chance that they will live. You know, I, I mean, it's a pretty big fucking storm. That's a pretty fucking big tornado. Oh my god, no, they ain't living that. That shit is being ripped apart. Oh, 
I don't. I. <sighs> I still feel like I kind of made the wrong choice. I. Uh, fuck. I feel like that was the bad choice, really. But I, I'm going at it from a mindset of a Terminator. It's like I passed my main objective. But I've just killed her family. Essentially, that's that's what I've done. That I've just killed her family. You know everything's gone. So there's some stuff still standing. There's, there's some stuff still standing. It's 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 not bad yet. It's not all bad. There could still be some good stuff. I could. Wait, wait, no, no, no. The diner's still standing. It still stood. It's just the sign's fallen off. Wait, this. They could be alive. I'm clutching straws here. Literally clutching at straws. Please. Please. I'm. I'm. I, uh, either, either way, both decisions were gonna have a shitty outcome for me, in all fairness. Both weren't going to end well, but it's, it's like, I, I'd sacrifice Chloe, but her mum would then have lost her husband and her kid. But at the same time, at this point, Chloe's now lost her mum and her dad, and I, <laughs> I can't rationalise any of those decisions because they both have it's like I, I guess really the sacrifice Arcadia Bay one was the wrong one to choose was the bad one to choose because it's like sacrificing the lives of many for the life of one whereas I could sacrifice the life of one for the lives of many but at the same time my goal throughout this entire game has been to save Chloe I still didn't get, didn't get the fucking closure on why Max has the ability to rewind. It's not even really rewinding now, as, as they've shown. It's fucking, like, going between dimensions. So that's just even more questions. It still haven't given me the closure I wanted. <laughs> so I was in the minority for choosing to sacrifice Arcadia Bay. What else was there? That I, I just... Okay, so I guess there was the ability for David to not get a scar during a fight. Okay. I got David not to kill Jefferson. That's good. I didn't save the trucker. I didn't know I could save the trucker. Or Evan. I saved Alyssa, though. <laughs> I was in the majority for kissing Warren. It's like, well... You know, it was the right thing to do. I tried. I could have saved a fisherman. I tried. I, I couldn't figure it out. Help Joyce believe in David again. See, I, why was I in minority about that? David actually turned out to be a cool dude as well. I mean, for all we know, is he was underground. He could have lived. Quite frankly, he could have. He could have survived that shit. So, yeah. I guess that was Life is Strange. Okay, well. I, I, I'm i going to have to go back and see how the other ending played out. Because, pure curiosity. I'm not disappointed with that ending. I'm happy with it. But at the same time, I would have been happy with the other ending. It's like, like I said, I didn't really form as much of a bond with the other characters in the game like I did with Chloe. I don't know. It's weird. It's fucking weird. I like Chloe a lot more. Whereas the other people just seemed like, especially Victoria at the start, she was fucking douchey. 
but then she mellowed out. And that whole thing with fucking Jefferson, that, that fucked with me. <laughs> and yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm not so mad about that because now he's been sucked off and he's in many, many pieces. So, yeah. Well, that was Life is Strange. Uh, here's a, I guess, a recap of all my choices that I made throughout the game. This, yeah, this, this was all my choices, right here. See, I, I tried to play the game the good way, the nice person way. Like the way I would have made most of these choices. It's just that end. Ugh, that was a tough one. It's like sacrifice Chloe and go on to live with everyone else in a like little perfect bubble or that was a fucking dickish decision. Damn it, Squeenix. Why did you make me make that choice? <laughs> you fucking dicks. Ugh, fuck. Anyway, on that note, thank you for watching. Um, hope you enjoyed. Please tell me if I did make the wrong choice at the end, because I'm more than happy to hear. Um, <laughs> yeah. Uh, please like, comment, subscribe, all that fun stuff. And yeah, life is strange. <laughs>